What's happening, fam? LA Y'all Movement Still Moving. Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail. Politics, gender, and race. As you see with the Stacey Dash situation, and ironically, um, Cheryl Underwood getting a talking to or whatever by Sharon Osbourne, and then the Meghan Markle, uh, is it Prince Harry situation, and the BLM situation with uh, Mike Brown's father, and the political climate with the, um, how can I say this? The, the, the Democratic Party's women right now not being able to quote unquote get anything out of the Biden administration. What you're seeing is how politics, gender, and race are hitting women in particular, black women in particular. Because what it looks like is black women have had their own political agenda, whether under the table for a while. Now it's, you know, over the table and on Front Street. And, and the um, Megan Thee Stallion and uh, Maxine Waters situation, right? So... Cardi B, which is not necessarily a black woman, but we just go with it. What you're seeing is a few things come to fruition. You're seeing that black women are exceedingly running into racial issues. And for some odd reason, it, it pretty much looks as if black women are oblivious to racism because this is a brand new institution for them because they didn't see racism like this. Because I guess women's issues toppled race. So the the fake outrage of or the fake sincerity of Stacey Dash. I was an angry black woman. That I got nothing to do with black people, remember, because you was with white people this whole time. But race wasn't, you know, so your swirling was an issue, was your personal issue. But you put that on the black community. And whether you like to admit it or not, there, there are a lot of sisters who agreed with her swirling options and the way she did it. Then you look at, you know, the Sharon Osbourne, Cheryl Underwood thing and how the shock on a 50 plus year old woman's face when, you know, her quote unquote friend is talking to a crazy on national TV about racism. <laughs> But as women, y'all supposed to be all together. Y'all got an understanding as women. You know, then the same thing with Meghan Markle. The, you know, it's a racial issue. Right, 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 right. Okay, okay. Oprah, is it about race? Oh my God. Okay. Okay. The, 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 like I said, um, Megan Thee Stallion and uh, Maxine Waters. Okay, if that's empowering for you and that's what y'all want to be powerful doing, no problem. Which, which, is in an, which is actually in alignment with the stripper uh, voting video. But the, the Michael Brown Sr. Black Lives Matter thing where, you know, Black Lives Matter isn't about the black community or black men in particular. It's about women. And their political agenda, and, and even you can interject the Cornell West situation that just happened, and people asking for diversity. And a lot of times, women are more, or the majority population on college universities. They're just not the majority population in STEM programs. And women keep fighting for diversity, but, you know, it sounds like a dog whistle for women are fighting for diversity, a.k.a. women as in diversity, and women of all races as in diversity, not men. Um, and this is where the racial aspect keeps happening because when you see, um, especially with black women, race and business and politics come, come into play, you see black women frequenting other people's or other groups' businesses because that's what because as women you want to be pampered. So you you still want to be able to go spend your money to be pampered. And your political leanings lean you towards that 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 um 
that avenue, not understanding that these people are in it for the money. That's why they're in it for the politics, for the money. That's why they're in it for their gender issues, for the money. And then you got this, these numerous women who keep having these surprise come to Jesus' faces. And just like Stacey Dash is trying to have a mere culpa with the black community, or probably black men, that probably, that's probably not going to happen. But more importantly, you're seeing there really isn't a boogeyman on the conservative political side and the um, liberal um, political side as far as gender comes into it. Because what exactly do liberals have have to say in a gender issue, especially black liberal women? What, what, is, what is their gender issue with men, really? Is a is a made up old school, old narrative. What is the conservative? Yeah, th that's their conservative argument. What is the conservative uh, women's argument for for quote unquote liberal men? It can't they can't really find one either way. So now, you know, we've went down the rabbit hole of canceling Pepe Le Pew, you know, or putting people in jail who didn't actually commit a crime because it make people it makes people feel good while in the meantime. You got white teachers having their five-year-old black students cleaning out a toilet with their bare hand, black boy students. And the women are really not getting into an altercation about this because I guess that's not civilized. And why all of this stuff matters as far as politics is because the political agenda and the, and, and the gender agenda in a sense, are falling on their face because there is really no meat to, the, to that argument because the independence women want, they don't want to work for. And it's not like race where, especially the black race, especially the black men in particular, where women feel like, you were held out of certain things, and at the same time, when, when you built things on your own, it got destroyed by people outside of your community. The, the government doesn't have a COINTEL pro for women. You get what I'm saying? The government doesn't have a, a, um, a, a, a redlining for women or a blockbusting for women or, or the black farmers... Uh, have, have a legitimate argument. That, is, that isn't a, a women's argument. You can't, they don't have that for women. They have all of these programs to help women. And what it looks like is women want to be helped in this way, but not in this way. And what it looks like after all of this plays out is women are on this political terror, this gender terror, and using race as a, as a, as a, a, curveball to get something extra or whatever, only to get older and, and realize I don't want to do all of this work. I want the option, you know, I want to fight for all of these programs for the option to do to do these things which you already have, but I actually don't want to do them. And but they're setting up the younger generation of women for this uh toil. Because what society is basically about to do or is growing into is giving these younger women with these, giving the next generation, giving the millennials and the zillennials the life that Generation X and, and the baby boomers were asking for, that Generation X and the baby boomers did not actually want to participate in. So to me, at the end of the day, this is going to be a big, big mess. But... And Stacey Dash is just kind of like, and all of these ladies in the last few weeks, this is kind of like a, a, a not necessarily a flashpoint or a tipping point, but, a, but like a canary in a coal mine, how, how the direction this is going to go. Because you don't, you don't, I don't hear um, black women speaking about any issues as far as democratically. And I don't hear conservative black women saying anything right now either. So... But my bad. It doesn't make sense. But like, share, subscribe, or die trying. Peace.